today we have a special person here that has an awesome speech. Please welcome Martin Luther, Dr. Martin Luther King. When were you born? I was born on January 15, 1922, in Georgia, Southern U.S. Tell us more about your early life and family, and what did your grandfather and your father do? I went to school and I was a good learner. I loved singing and playing sports. My grandfather and my father was both a pastor. Why did the black people and white people go to different schools? There are many places that says whites only in hotels, swimming pools, schools, restaurants, even even restaurants. Why did you read the bus boycott? It's because I saw a woman named Rosa Parks. A black girl didn't give a seat to a white person, so Rosa got arrested. And the rule is that the blacks, the blacks sit at the back, and the whites sit at the front. Tell us more about how Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi impacted you, and how did you meet him? I went to India for five weeks, but Mahatma. But Gandhi got assassinated on 1948, so I didn't really see meet him. I learned about his life and why he, why he is a mover and shaker. What was the social and political environment at that time? Whites have more rights than blacks, so I let the bus boycott and it last for 382 days. Some. Some whites agree with me, but many disagree. I prompted you to make the I Have a Dream speech. At that time, blacks don't have rights, and there are many places that's only for white. When I was small, my friends stopped playing with me in many sports because I am black and the others are white. I don't understand why. Do you learn in the South? I led my peaceful bus protest over the South, and it really did work. Many, many followers followed me. You took a lot of actions in your life to make cha changes so that white people and black people have the same rights. Do you think some people changed their thinking? Yes, some people did change their thinking, and laws were changed, like the whites only sign were no longer allowed to be used. White and black can to go to the same schools, and blacks are no longer forced to be sit at the back of the buses. Some people ch started treating other people more fairly.